Macroinvertebrates are organisms without backbones that are visible to the naked eye. Benthic macroinvertebrates live on, under, or around rocks and sediments at the bottom of lakes, rivers, and streams. The presence or absence of specific macroinvertebrate animals is one useful way to judge water quality. I'm Philippe Cousteau with Earth Echo Expeditions, and today these students are going to teach me how to collect benthic macroinvertebrates. How do we do it, guys? So we roll the kick net out. Okay. Okay. And we put the sticks down like this. Uh -huh. Then we pick other rocks up and set them out of the way and then scrub it like this. And all the dirt goes in there and catches it. Oh. So Scrubbing the same rock over and over. Yeah, so the macroinvertebrates don't go under them again. These students from Petersburg Elementary are going to show me how to sort through and then identify benthic macroinvertebrates we just pulled out of the stream. And what is a macroinvertebrate? A thing that does not have a spine. It does not have a spine. So are we invertebrates? No. Nope. Are you an invertebrate? Nope. You're a vertebrate. All right. Y'all got backbones. So do I. So what are we doing here, y'all? So we just put in each of these little Tray. ice Tray. cube trays? It looks the same. How do you identify animals in here? How do you know something's alive? What are these? A di dichotomous key to identify the macroinvertebrates. Uh-huh. So we've got two different options here on this dichotomous key. It's a great word. And we need to identify various different characteristics of the different invertebrates. So the first one is, does it have a shell? Nope. Okay, so no shell. Does it have legs or no legs? It has legs. It's actually got six legs. Does it have a tail? Yeah. Or more than one tail. If it's got no shell, six legs, tails, and spines on the side, it's either a helgramite, an alder fly, or a whirligig beetle. Which one do you think it is? Oh, I think it'd be this one. Helgramite. Yeah. Good job. We identified one. And we've only got about 500 left. So this is pretty cool science, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, whoever said science isn't fun? 